A familiar face in the pro peloton for over a decade, Edvald Borsenhagen has some big results on his Palmares. But as his first and so far only cobbled classic victory, his triumph at the 2009 Ghent Fevelgem is one that remains especially significant to the Norwegian. Yeah, I was uh, really early in my career, uh, second year as a pro, so I was riding there actually to help my team and uh, try to do my job as good as possible. It was a really strong team, but uh, I was young and uh, just want to race and <laughs> take my opportunities. There was uh, a lot of wind and uh, you had to be in the front to be ready and that's what they saw, said in the bus as well in the morning. Luckily I managed to be in the first echelons and uh, took it from there. With many of the pre-race favourites caught out in the crosswinds and only one man up the road, Bossenhagen saw his opportunity on the second ascent of the famous Kemmelberg. It's uh, really steep and of course it's on cobbles and that day it was also raining so it made it slippery so you need to sit down and be powerful in your legs then uh, just pedal hard. <laughs> I felt obviously quite strong that day when I was attacking on Kamenberg and uh, could uh, make it across to him. I was just racing in my instinct. Well, I've never actually been looking so much at riders or teams, especially earlier when I didn't know a lot about the teams. I was just riding and and having fun like I still are. I respect every rider, but I didn't really pay attention to who they are most of the times, and I just raced and tried to be at the front and not think about what they achieved. A lot of races also lost because they tried to race and save too much, so I was happy that he was also committed and want to ride a lot. As Bosenhagen ploughed on up the road, teammates Marcus Burkhardt and George Hincapie were proving invaluable in the chasing group. It's always important with a good team and a good teammates that can help out from behind and not block the roads in an unfair way, but just not commit to, uh, to riding. It's a nice feeling when you ride together as a team. In general, it's, it's uh, something special. It feels even better when you have, if you win yourself or somebody else on the team win. But if you have committed and ridden well together as a team, then it makes the victory even bigger. I don't know really what went through my head in that sprint. It's, uh, I think I'm quite known for having a long sprint, but that was maybe one of the longer ones. <laughs> maybe it's not the perfect sprint in tactic wise, but when you win, it doesn't matter how, how you win, if it's a nice way to win. I was just crazy happy and yeah, I think my arms went a bit uh, everywhere in that celebration. But uh, well, I think it's just good to show how happy you are and not think about any how you're going to look on camera or whatever, it's, it's nice to celebrate. 
de Wiederhofte Serie von der Columbia Kairote auf der höchsten Skabotte gewonnen hat. Wenn du mich warm bewahrst, Erik. Es ist schon ein langer Zeit her, aber ich bin immer noch viel mentioned. Es ist schön, dass ich einer dieser Fahrer sein kann und ich hoffe, dass ich able to show what I can in uh, the years to come and hopefully I can come back and, uh, and do some great results in Gantwell again and also of course all the other classics.